Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we are moving closer to our first version upgrade of Google Chrome for 2025. Because um, yesterday, late in my part of the world, Google rolled out the early stable update and release of Google Chrome. Which most, including myself, would not have received. They only rolled out the early stable to a limited subset of users. A week or so before the official release, um, just to test it for a couple of bugs before it rolls out to the general public. So it rolled out yesterday on the 8th, so I would suggest next week, the 14th or the 15th, we will receive Chrome version 132, which is our next major version upgrade. Now, when that update rolls out, uh, the version in bold will be bumped up to 132.0.6834.83. Now, just a quick video um, to give you a quick overview as to what I think we could see roll out with version 132. And at this stage, this is not a comprehensive list and obviously subject to change uh, because the official version hasn't rolled out yet. And these are just some features I've spotted in the Chrome platform status, which I thought you may be interested in um, with the, the next 132 update. Now, in no particular order, um, I think we're going to see maybe traces of the read aloud feature for the reading mode, which isn't available as yet uh, in the stable version. And just to give you an idea as to what I'm talking about, because I have posted quite in depth on this um, a couple of months back, uh, reading mode obviously um, gets rid of all the clutter when you are wanting to read an article and it's quite a handy little feature actually uh, in the browser. So if we head over to reading mode in Chrome Canary just to give you a general idea. This is the read aloud feature. Brand tech. Okay. Videos. Microsoft may have pulled Edge's new gaming mode. So I can increase the speed of that. Let's just pop that up a little bit, rev that up a bit. Brave update fixes a crash and security issues version 1. And I can change the highlighted to sentence phrase word and so on so you get the general idea so that's something that could possibly roll out with version 132 which i think has been a long time coming and um, that's been in development in development now for ages and i think we should start seeing that roll out but obviously that is not confirmed so just to focus on a couple of features i've pulled from the chrome platform status which i thought you may be interested in and there are improvements for the keyboard focusable scroll containers. And if you don't know what that is, you can use shift or tab or tab and depending on your keyboard and you can see it focuses on different elements of the actual browser. So there we go. We can see that jumping around and there we go. So you can see that's just focusing. It's called keyboard focusable scroll containers. Um, apparently this feature has been fixed and now is a lot more stable and we should see that change if you are using a feature like that and with your keyboard roll out in version 132 and then there are improvements for the strict transport security headers now what that's all about and this is an under the hood kind of security change is what this is all about is the http which is less secure informs browsers that the site should only be accessed using https which is more secure and that any future attempts to access it using HTTP should automatically be upgraded to HTTPS. So that's according to the Chrome platform status. And obviously um, that's available now in the early stable. And there's a couple of little goodies we could see roll out with version 132. And I have mentioned on the channel previously that a lot of the little tweaks and adjustments and the features that are rolling out in Google Chrome are mainly rolling out point release updates of late the version upgrades don't seem to be getting too many major kind of front-facing features so it's going to be interesting to see what this first um, version upgrade 132 uh, brings next week and obviously i'll post on that and this was just a quick video just to give you an overview as to more or less what i think we could see give or take roll out with version 132 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one